All right, so another change I wanna make now that I have the basics of this page up and running for filtering my course catalog history, I like to load more of my history. And to do that, I already have a subset of my courses available here. To do that, I don't wanna have to build out the JSON I'm using for this. So I've got a JSON file. I have some comments with some of the courses that I'm missing, but I'm thinking what I'd like to do actually is just give it an example here that I've set up of one of these JSON structures for a given course. So authoring and maintaining GitHub Actions, that maps to this very first card here. So there's a link to the course, there's the repo, there's also the publisher and I show an icon for it. The description's made up at this point, I'll deal with that later, but then there's also a title and this is a real title. So what I'd like it to do actually, I'd like to feed in my entire catalog of courses here and so eventually what I'm going to do here is I've found the element with all of my courses in it. I want to just copy this. But before I do that, I'm going to come out to Claude. I think I'm going to use Claude to do this today. So Claude actually has the source code for my application right now. Nonetheless, I'm going to tell it here what I want it to do. I want you to... So I want to create the JSON objects for my entire course catalog from Pluralsight. Here's what the JSON looks like. Come back over to Zed, copy that one. I think one's fine for a reference below. So basically saying, I want you to extract all the info from the JSON up above, except you can ignore the description because I won't have that. I don't think that's in this page. No, it's not. Ignore the description and ignore the repo. Leave those blank. All right, so now I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna copy my entire history here. And I'm not gonna be nice to it here. I'm actually gonna leave this title in here. It should be able to figure that out. So I'm gonna copy this HTML, the outer HTML here. Come back over to Claude. Oh, okay, it's attached to it as content, which is fine. So I'll do this, attached. I have pasted the HTML for my entire catalog. Let's just see what it can do here. Now I know ChatGPT can do this. I've had good luck with this type of stuff in the past. I've never tried it with Claude. So I'm crossing my fingers here that Claude's good enough to do it as well. We'll see what happens here. Oh man, okay, the first mistake it's making is I don't want everything on its own line, or I don't want it on multiple lines. Keep everything compacted to one line. I think that's a good idea. So it's made an artifact here with the JSON objects. It should update it here and keep things compact. There you go. I don't know why I like that. I'm probably gonna expand it out in the future at some point, but nonetheless, I wanna see the format that I'm used to here. So I'll let this complete. Really, is that it? I don't think that's it. I need you. So you need to update all editions of each course. There are some that have been updated and should have multiple, multiple entries or objects. See if it gets it right now. Looks like it just probably pulled the most recent one of each subject anyways, which I don't want. I want everything. Or I'm wondering if it's not referring to my HTML and if instead it's going into, let's look over here and see what it's doing. Okay, no, this course right here has two different versions and I remember the slugs were basically reversed. Managing's on the end of one, it's on the start of the other. So it's actually pulling these out now. Looks much better, a much more appropriate list of items. If I come over to my catalog here, there should be 43 items. I forgot to tell it, I don't mind if it includes the labs though, it can skip those. So we'll see what happens here. So let's just copy this. All right, so now it's included everything. Come back over here. Maybe I'll paste this in. I believe it's going to have done it in order. And if it did it in order, it should match up with some of the ones I already had. So in other words, I'll be able to do a diff here. I'm going to get rid of these first ones here. I'll leave my notes down below in case I want to go back to that approach later. Yeah. Actually, no, no. Let's just get rid of everything in here and make this valid. And up at the start, I don't need this extra array indication. All right, save that. That should work. Now let's come back over and just refresh the catalog. Refresh here. All right, 41 courses, that's not bad. Descriptions are gone, of course, because I told it to ignore those, that's fine. Let's see if a link works here. That works. Let's see if this one works. Good deal. Let's scroll down to some of the older ones where I think there would be more of a problem getting the link to work. If it didn't pay attention to previous editions, good. That one works, let's try this one. All right, so on a spot check, this looks good. All right, so I think this is a good stopping point. The gist of sharing this is that if you need to take data in one format and convert it to a different format, that's definitely a task. It's almost an ETL task. It's definitely something that both ChatGPT and Claude seem to excel at. And it's something I'd encourage you to get familiar with. That way you're not manually converting this by hand. 
because you could imagine how long it might take if I wanted to take that JSON and build it all myself. 